Hello everyone, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Uh, if this is your first time visiting, don't forget to like and subscribe and also turn on the notification icon to stay updated about my latest video. Uh, this picture was given to me by a Stein Alvin Photography. Uh, you can check out his Instagram handle. So it's the one that took this picture. The picture was taken with Canon 6D. As you can see, the picture came out nice. So we are just going to be coloring the picture, not using any presets. We are just going to be using our camera roll settings. Uh, many people don't know the real function of the camera roll. Many people undirect it. So let me be showing you how to coloring your picture without using any presets. Just camera roll and getting a nice outcome when it comes to picture. So let's jump into that with no further ado. Firstly, let's make sure we work with this our basic settings under our basic settings we have so many options there we have our exposure constructs highlight shadow white black so on and so forth firstly let's be reducing the highlights in the picture just a little bit so let me drag down the highlight if i'm to drag it down all the, all the way down as you can see uh, that's too much that's not what we need we are just going to be dragging that a little bit our shadow also let's increase our shadow a little bit if I'm, to even dot, if I'm to increase that to be look at what happens so we are just reducing increasing it a little bit our white also let's reduce our white a little bit uh let me just say i'm done with this now this is not the area i want to be working on the major area is our hsl adjustment layer which is over here it might not be here on your own depending on the version of camera roll you are making use of i'm currently using camera roll 11.3 uh, which is on my Photoshop CC19. So let me go to my HSL adjustment. Sorry, HSL adjustment. So this is what this look like. Under the HSL panel, we have three panels there. We have our hue, we have our saturation, and we have our luminance. So the hue starts from for either changing the color. They are giving us two separate colors here for we to make up. Like our blue now, I can try to go for all the way blue, or I can try to go for cyan. So let me just try this our color this our cyan here right now so let me try what let me show you what i'm talking about i'm to drag this way as you can see it's turning up bringing up cyan instead of blue so i'm going to drag it up here now as you can see bringing up bluish and purplish look on the picture all the way down it turned up it has already turned our blue dress to our purple dress so that's the work of the you so it, it can change color of a particular you can change a particular color to two or three different type of color while our saturation is to enhance the color that is already there maybe these are blue these are blue and i want to enhance our blue i'm just going to turn it up also the cyan also bring it up a little bit as you can see so this enhances the color unlike uh our hue why our luminance what luminance does it reduce the brightness or the darkness or increase the brightness of the color you want to turn it down right now as you can see you want to turn it all up as you can see right now down all up so that's what the hsr adjustment works for so let's be collaborating let's start to collaborate our picture now so let me go back to my saturation oh i think my cyan is okay this way and also my blue this time around let me go to my yellow as you can see just keep on messing with this too let me increase my yellow my green i'll be increasing it this time around i'll go to my u under my my green my green i'm going to be reducing it turning it to yellow so that you can bring this yellowish look for me so as you can see right now i have something nice over here even under my yellow so i'll still bring down uh i'll still drag it down so that i'll have this yellowish look there so now we have worked with just the background alone which will bring out this yellowish look so now let's work with the skin skin tone so i'll go back to my saturation this is what our skin color stands for mostly so let me zoom into the area to the skin color as you can see so this area if i'm to re-increase saturation right now as you can see we are having this reddish look which is too much so i'm just going to drag it up a little bit i will finish the skin using my uh, my lot when i go to my normal photoshop so the what you want to color grade there is just the background just the background there so that's what you want to color grade right now which we have been doing perfect doing a perfect job so far so now let me 
let me color grade uh, this top over here so how am I going to do that I'll look for color that looks like it which I think either one of these two is going to do the job I want to drag it up it's doing the job on that perfectly so let me go to my mangan ties now and drag it up as you can see no other perfect but we have something nice over here so let me increase my skin color a little bit also so let's say we're done with this I would also like to make a little bit of settings also over to my split toning under my highlights I'm going to be using my normal skin tone right there which is around there so I'll reduce, increase the saturation a little bit I want it to give me a warm color a little bit of warm color right there as you can see right now so let me show you our before and after these are before for the skin toning and these are after so these are before and after so let me just go to my shadow now so it's my shadow also i'll still go to the same place then i'll increase the saturation a little bit if you have to turn the saturation a little bit all the way down look at what it gave us so let me just bring it down just need the saturation a little bit around 10 to 9 is okay for me and i'll drag to the color i need you can just keep messing around with the tools you have in your photoshop to see what i'm talking about so let's say we're done with your camera right now now let's open our picture in photoshop click on open then we'll wait for it to load Okay, this is our picture right now we've done a, a nice job so far a perfect job so far so right now we can decide to clean up some blemishes we have over here at the front of the background firstly before i do anything in my photoshop i love dupli duplicating my layer so how am i going to do that i'll just click on ctrl j so that i'll just make sure in case i make any mistake any error i can easily go back to my background layer and duplicate it again and start my work afresh so I'm going to be using my patch tool now. I'll click on my patch tool, then I'll zoom in. So I'm going to be cleaning off these leaves little by little. I'll drag it, drag it to the area I want it to. I want to fill it with. Sorry, I'm just going to select the area, select the leaves, select the leaf. I'm just trying to clean it up. This step is not necessary. I can try to leave it this way. So I just want something nicer at the front. That's why I'm doing all this. So we'll drag, 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 drag. Ctrl D to deselect. So I have to turn this off now. So you can see we just clean it off. You can try to clean it all the way back, but I prefer to leave it this way. So this time around now let's just do a little bit of sharp retouching, nothing much, just a little bit of retouching. So I'll just go into pick, I'll use I'm using my uh ultimate beauty retouch to do my retouching. So I'll wait for the panel to load up. So once it does, I'll just click on my two F dash ones. Wait for it to load. Uh under my radius, I'm going to be using 4.0 click on ok automatically it's going to pick up your mixer brush for you which my setting is already there which i want to make use of so i'll just have to zoom in zoom in and do a little bit of retouching to it if you want to know how i do my retouching kindly go to my other videos and watch them out uh, this retouching steps is very easy to learn not nothing much there to learn very easy and straightforward there's no special techniques I use, I just do my retouching and my mixer broad setting is okay for you to make it the while doing your pictures it won't stress you out at all so as you can see I'm even almost done with my retouching right now I'm just trying to try to smoothen up the skin so if you are interested in getting any of my files which I use for either retouching or color grading the link is in the description below you can actually go to my store and buy them there 
uh, their premium package and also their gift for anybody that make purchase via my store for the next few weeks once you just make purchase to my source from my store just contact me on whatsapp whatsapp to get your own premium gift and also kindly share this video to all your friends to help move the ministry forward if you learn a thing or two from my videos don't forget to subscribe uh subscription is free it won't cost you a thing so let's meet at the end of this retouching done with the retouching now so let me show you before and after of the retouching just this sharp retouching do this is the before this is the after let me zoom in a little bit so i can see what i'm talking about before and after before and after you can try to go extreme and while doing your retouch but i love a simple retouch my picture that's a simple retouch which i'm i'll be able to protect the details on my model space so we're done with this for now so now let's color grid using our selective color and also we can decide to use our loot a lot file for uh, the picture i'll be dropping the lot i'll be making use of for you guys to download for free of charge of course so now let's go back to our selective color let me pick my selective color now this time around let me go to magenta eyes which is this color i have over here but either you can either use selective color to color recreate again or you can use your hue and saturation so let me show you the uh, this one I have over here. So I want to increase my magenta is now As you can see It brings in it brought the color out for us as you can see right now Or you can decide to just delete the selective color over here Then go to your U and saturation U and saturation from master uh, Let's go to our magenta is again. So just increase the saturation As you can see just increase the saturation till you see fit and also our blue is not that deep again let's still go back to our blue again let's go to our blue and increase it also increase saturation wow we have something nice over here so we're almost done with our, our color grading this time around let us apply a lot for our skin just apply a lot onto our model space so i'll go to my cover adjustment layer go to color lookup there's a lot i love using for most of my pictures so i'll just go to load 3d loads then i'll go to my natural color natural color i'll click on it as you can see it's even nice on the complete picture but it's too much on our model space and also the background looks somehow dark so what you just need to do is just to reduce the opacity reduce it then ctrl i to invert the reason is that we are just applying the color to just the model face alone not the entire picture so we'll just pick up our brush tool to apply it over the area we want it to be pick our brush tool uh, make sure it's on 100 percent and also our strength our brush strength i love using zero as my hardness so make sure your brush hardness is on zero and your brush color is on white then paint over the area you want the colors to be so i'll be doing just that right now right now as you can see i'm just trying to modify the color a little bit nothing much as you can see right now So nothing much let me just show you the before before and after if the saturation is not okay for you, you can just increase the saturation a little bit by increasing uh, the opacity so we are almost done with our uh, retouching now so all i just need to do now is just to whiten my eye and teeth so let me show you how i do that i just go to my curve adjustment layer click on my black and white so you can see wait for it to load up Once it does, all I just need to do is just to invert it, invert it, control I, to invert the black and white. Then I'll still go back, pick on my brush tool again, 100% opacity, then apply it on the area I want it to be. As you can see, let me just do that right now. As you can see. As you can see. So just whiten now. I let me show you the before and after of the eye whitening. Before and after. 
nothing nothing fancy if it's too much you can just re decide to reduce the opacity so that is all for today's tutorial guys like, thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel if you learned a thing or two from this video please drop a like and recommend for your friends to watch see you guys on my next